Baja 1000 and we found the coolest Jeep on the lot. Yeah. yeah. Hey Tim. Hey. How's it going? Good. So tell us a little bit about your Jeep. It's old. We're trying to we're trying to get him to start a vintage class. So how old? But anyway, we're here. We were thinking 1985. We're thinking. We bought it from the West Coast from Wangler, so we don't know. Anyway, we've had it in Florida for about five years now. We've run a couple races out west in Arizona and uh, got a motley crew together and here we are. So you're just coming out, running the Baja 1000. Got a Jeep. Any plans, strategies? What's the theory here? Be patient, try to finish. We haven't pre run anything. We haven't pre ran anything. That's all we hear is It's stories. all flat. Yeah, that's what we hear. You heard that. Yeah, nice and flat. We're going to run about 50 mile an hour average speed. Absolutely. No rocks. No rocks. No flat tires. And how many uh, drivers do you have? Two drivers. Oh, yeah. It's like 11 people in the whole group. And we're ready to rock. Sounds good. All right. Good luck out there, Tim. Thanks. So, Jeff. so Mark, what's your story here? I heard that you're attached to this thing somehow. So let me tell you why this is the coolest Jeep here, here in Baja. This is how I got into off-road racing. This was my best friend's dad's Kurt Wangler and Alex Wangler's race car. This thing went Vora, it went all over the mid-80s. I mean, look at it, it's simple. It's got giant leaf packs. It was made by Dietz Off-Road, one of the greatest guys out there in, in Livermore. I mean, this this is why I'm here today. This is this is racing. This this is my favorite Jeep. Jeff, before I even knew Jeff Mello. Who's uh, Jeff Mello? A, <laughs> Wait, who is Jeff Mello? You don't know who I am? <laughs> we had a connection to this Jeep before we even met. So, I, I'm growing up in Northern California, and that before I ever built my first race Jeep of any sort, I'm wheeling on the Rubicon and stuff, but I knew about this Jeep, and I went and watched Kurt drive a few times. Not a week ago, Mark, that I've now known for four, five, six years, and he works with my team, he comes and he says, hey, it's it's team night on Wednesday night, can I bring a friend over to see how we kind of operate and everything around the bar? And I said, heck yeah. And he brings over none other than Kurt Wangler. Well, what, six days later, we're down here in Baja, and somebody tells us that there's a roll cage tech going on on a blue scrambler from the guy, Florida. The guy blue. liked the blue scrambler so much, he took a picture phone of it and brought it back to us. He has no connection to this Jeep at all. Brought it back to us and said, this is how cool this Jeep is. Shows us this picture. Oh my God, we know that Jeep. So that's old school. That's small world of four-wheeling right there. And these guys are going to win it overall. Come on. Right. Woo! Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You heard that. All right, breakfast time? Oh, 